How's it going guys? It's Nixie. I have had toil and trouble when it comes to screencasting tools in Linux. I tried GTK Record My Desktop and that worked okay but I wanted something with a little bit more uh, customization so I ended up just kind of going in the terminal and tinkering around and that's what I've been using until I found out about Kazam which you guys seem to be really excited about that screencasting tool and I ended up installing it, testing it out and here are my findings so I hope you guys enjoy. Once Kazam is installed, it's easy to start and to record the whole desktop, including multiple displays that you may have. Um, while you watch me test it out, I wanted to explain a little bit about the installation process. As of right now, Kazam is not available in the repository, so you'll have to get the PPA from Launchpad, but don't worry about that now. I'll likely put up another video to show you how to do that. So here I'm just messing around with the recording and I'm finished so I'm going to go ahead and end it and you'll see Kazam gives me the options to save the file, export it directly to a video editor, and even upload it right to YouTube which I'll show you later. Let's go ahead and check out the playback of the recording that I just made. So I set Kazam to record both my monitors. Yeah, I know one is widescreen and one isn't. So anyway, you're seeing me drag Pingus between the two and it looks gorgeous and that's the recording. Oh, and I probably should mention that you can select to only record from one of your monitors. You don't have to record from both. Now we're going to take it on over to a video editor and Caden Live likes the input, which is always nice to see. The files are actually in an easy to work with format. Um, the video codec is H.264, audio is MPEG2, and the containers .mkv. Now, I've pretty much tried every video capture program under the sun, so being able to drag and drop the raw file into a video editor is just amazing for me. And with Kazam, uploading screen caps to YouTube has never been easier. I record epic amounts of desktop video, and I love the fact that not only can I upload the file, but I can add a description, title, and tag my video to right in the program. So was Kazam everything I hoped for and more? Pretty much. I mean, for a GUI, it was just full featured. You can upload it to YouTube. You can just save it as a file. There were a little bit of issues with file saving that weren't exactly intuitive to me. But other than that, once you get the hang of it, it's it really replaces anything um, that I've tried even in Windows for free that is and um, I think I'll be really pleased with it especially if they get the help that they need they need some uh, some developers and some people for graphic design and their launch pad is absolutely open for you to join and report bugs as always so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and talk to you later